80-year-old Johnny Wilson spends most of his time on the campus of Lock Haven University with his son, John Jr., the men's head basketball coach. John Sr.'s past tells quite a tale. 1946, his senior year in high school, named Mr. Indiana Basketball, the first African-American player with such an honor. Basketball was king, you know, and that uh, and they've had the greatest basketball tournament in the, uh, in the country. And we're fortunate enough that my senior year that we won the state championship. Johnny's next stop was supposed to be Indiana and the Hoosiers, but they weren't accepting black players at that time. So off to Anderson College he went, some saying Johnny Wilson was the best player in the country. After college, a short professional baseball career in the Negro Leagues with the Chicago American Giants. Then the Globetrotters, Inc. jumping Johnny to a contract. It was a great thing, especially playing with guys like Goose Tatum and Marcus Haynes. Marcus, in my opinion, one of the greatest basketball players that ever lived. And had a chance to play against uh, the number one ball player at that time was George Mikan with the Minneapolis Lakers. Had a chance to play against him. And uh, it was a real enjoyable life uh, out there playing. A lot of travel all over the world. Had a chance to uh, see things that I never would have had a chance to see on my own because I couldn't afford it. Fighting the depression and racism in the late 40s, Johnny had an outlet. The Globetrotters were hitting it big playing in big stadiums in front of thousands. Well, especially the Coliseum. We played, it was an outdoors game there at the Coliseum in Los Angeles, and uh, 35,000 people were at the ball game, and uh, we had a uh, real good ball game. Well, my first experience with the Harlem Globetrotters goes back to 1976. I was an eight-year-old youngster up at Williamsport Area High School, and it wasn't just the excitement in the gymnasium that day, but Curly Neal making back-to-back half-court shots, and Metal Lark Lemon following up with a half-court hook shot of his own. He didn't get a chance to do a lot of practice with that after season start because you're playing uh, just about every day and you don't get a chance to do much practicing. So when you see Metal Lark hit a hook shot from half-court, hey, that's skill. With the release of a book on his life now for sale, it's created quite a buzz on campus. Let's people know just how tough it was during the time of the depression and then uh, we stumbled through a lot of uh, discrimination and uh, things such as this that uh, has uh, built up to what it is today, which is now a much better world. His life is, is a, puts things in perspective for uh, a lot of young people today that, that don't realize how difficult it was back then. As difficult as it was, uh, he still was able to persevere and, and rise above the negatives to uh, you know, continue to live, uh, I think, a pretty successful life. When you think of the great players from Indiana like John Wooden, Oscar Robertson, or Larry Bird, that's quite a class. And jumping Johnny Wilson is part of that group in more ways than one. How can he miss? Well, it's all good fun and no need to keep track of the score. The clowning antics...